David B. Rice, I'm a, a urologist with Idaho Urologic Institute. There's been an evolution and a greater understanding of what robotic surgery is, and it's gone through a, a lot of vetting, a lot of, uh, of, of oversight, and is it working, and people very intensely look at it. Uh, it takes a long time to make a surgeon. You can make a robot in a few months. And so the idea was to have the surgeon away from the front lines and still get the soldiers to high-level surgery uh, during that golden hour. We know what works and what doesn't work and, and who has the skill to do it and who doesn't. Because you know we all have different skills and, and not everybody can do this. For the patient, there are a lot of benefits. And there's one that stands out that I'll mention at the end. But there's less bleeding, less pain, shorter stay in the hospital, quicker recovery. And really probably what is, because I use it mostly for cancer operations, is that we leave cancer behind less often. And that's a big deal. The technology is evolving. It's got greater movement, more precision. And with urology, it's rewarding to be able to help people. And, and you know, the bladder and some of the things that we take for granted, when they don't work, they take over your life. And to be able to get someone their life back is, is beautiful.